guys, what's up? I'm Tess. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a foundation review on the Merle Norman Lasting Foundation. Um, I'm going to put it on before I leave for work. I'll film that and then I'll film when I get home from work how well it lasted. I have really oily skin. This is supposed to be good for oily skin. I don't know what it is, but if I go run errands for 10 hours, I still don't get as oily as I do if I'm at work where at the end of the day, like I'm trying to get things done quickly. I don't know if it's the pressure that you have at work sometimes, but either way, I always get the most oily at work personally. So the true test will be, does it last through work? We shall see. And I just rocked. All right, you guys, so I figured I'd just show you how I apply all my base makeup. And this way you'll know what I typically work with when I am wearing a full coverage foundation. You'll be able to see how I apply my concealer and what powders I use on top of my foundation as well to help lock it in. And you'll have a better idea of what we're working with for a lot of my foundation reviews. So I'm just taking um, a Real Technique sponge to blend out my foundation. It has been dampened and I'm sure you saw that I did apply the foundation directly to my face. I find that works well with this foundation because it's not too runny so you can do that. When I have used a buffer makeup brush to blend out this foundation, I did think it worked just as well. So it's really just personal preference. So I'm just taking my time blending it all over my face. I think this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge works just as well as a beauty blender and is less than half the price. I think there's a lot of, gr a lot of great alternatives out there for beauty blenders personally, so I don't really think that they're worth the price anymore, but that's just my opinion. And I know that many people who don't have super oily skin like me also like this foundation. If you have more normal skin, a lot of people like it. Some people I know will put it just in their T-zone where they do get oily. And some people with more dry skin I know have enjoyed it without putting any powder on top of it. So just if you don't have super oily skin, that doesn't mean you won't like it. Now I am applying the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer under my eyes, some on my forehead, on my chin, and on a cute scar on my face from where I picked up my cheek and I'm using a random Morphe brush to apply it. It's just something I got in a kit, super cheap. And now I'm taking a Morphe Y10 brush and blending out my concealer with it. I saw Babs Beauty here on YouTube recommend it and I really love it. It's really, really good for blending out concealer. It's also really cheap as well. So next you'll see I'm taking a little black brush. It's just an e.l.f. brush I got for like $3 at Walmart. It doesn't have a real Hold up. What the heck was that? Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Moving slow motion for me. Alright y'all, I'm sorry. I just really had to address that unattractive part of me blowing powder away from my face. But back to what I was saying. Black brush is just an e.l.f. brush I got for like $3 at Walmart, it doesn't have a real name. And I am using it in my Laura Mercier setting under eye brightening powder and applying it under my eyes, a little bit on my chin, and some on my forehead as well. And this is the time where I check my phone. I think, oh, wait, yep, need to hurry because gonna be late for work. And this is the part where I began talking to the camera because I wasn't sure if I was going to do a voiceover or a talk through. So we're just gonna roll with it. And next I'm taking some Merle Norman Flawless Effect Loose setting powder in translucent and using a Real Techniques powder brush to apply it all over my face. This powder is amazing at keeping you matte, your foundation locked in place, and not looking cakey. So I'm making sure to avoid the areas where I applied the brightening powder because it is so much more finely milled than this powder. Although this powder is translucent, it will still easily hinder the brightening effect because the powder is so much thicker itself which would defeat our whole purpose. 
And this is what I do the rest of the time that I spend getting ready, which is embarrassing, but it's real life. So I have all my makeup on now. We're ready to go off to work, and then when I come home, I will film how well I lost it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, alright so I'm back from work now and I just wanted to film so you guys could see how well the foundation lasted. Um, I'm going to zoom in too, but I mean, you can definitely see my oil coming through. I haven't blotted or anything all day and it's been at least 8 hours so this is really good for what most foundations would do. It doesn't look weird and caked up around my nose, it doesn't look weird and caked up anywhere, it's just my oils are seeping through. So with how oily my skin is and how long it's been, like that is really, really good. Um, really good. Without touching up blotting, no powder or anything, I mean, this is one of the best for sure. So I'm going to zoom in and try and let you guys see it better. So hopefully you can see it clearer now. Um, yeah. I mean, you just see my skin clearly is oily and it's definitely getting there but like this is well over eight hours and it doesn't it's like gone away some under my nose where I've like scratched on my forehead maybe some on my chin too I'm sure I've like had my chin resting on my hand but everything else even my blush and my contour like it stayed on fine um, under my eyes like everything stayed on fine and nothing looks weird or cakey so in my book it's really really good Okay guys, I did just want to say that overall the Merle Moment Lasting Foundation so far is definitely one of my top favorite foundations for lasting throughout the day on my oily skin. Um, I definitely recommend. It does come in quite a few shades. Once you get into the much darker skin tones, unfortunately there's not a lot of options. Aside from that, I think it's really great. I'll leave details below on how to get your hands on Merle Moment products and clear up any confusion around that because you can't just go on their website and order it. And I just wanted to quickly say that this video is not sponsored either. Um, I just worked at Merle Norman in college and that's how I became familiar with their products and grew to love them. So I will leave all the other details below and thank you guys for watching.